Okay, I'm going to be demonstrating the Anatec CEA 2.2 carbon deposition, which is connected to the Hummer 6.2. Right now you can see the vacuum level, we're down to 13 millitor. The only thing that you use from the Hummer is power, which is connected in the back, and that's connected uh, through a safety interlock system. And you use the gas, the argon gas. Up here, this is what would normally be connected to the, the head of the Hummer. It is now connected to the head of the CEA, which has your carbon rods in it. We're at 13 millitor, so I'm going to increase that to about 100 millitor, turning the gas on. And the front of the CEA power will come on. This was off even though the power switch was in the on position due to the safety interlock, it will not allow power to go to this unless the settings are correct there with the supplemental gas. So now that we're correct there, we don't have to do anything with the Hummer. Now we can increase the power to the CEA. I'm gonna increase the current to about five amps. And there's a small glow uh, in the chamber on the carbon rod. You want to go through a heating process of turning it off and on a couple of times. And you're doing that to heat up the, uh, to warm up the carbon rod. We've heated up the carbon rod. I'm going to increase the current until we get to a point where it will start depositing. the vacuum completely inside the chamber. The Hummer has to be powered off. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to shut it down. Give it a couple seconds to go to atmosphere. And at that point I can take the top off. Lay it on the side. And you can see there the target here has, has gotten a, a coating of carbon on it. Now we're looking at the Hummer 6.2. Evacuated the chamber. We're below 30 millitor. Voltage controllers here are timer, which also uh, works as the start. Um, control is here. Our gas control is here. And our different modes of operation are here. I'm going to show it in the plating mode. We're going to turn the gas on. 
and we're going to get to approximately 60 millitor in the supplemental gas. The control for the supplemental gas is on the right side here. And I'm going to increase that to get to 60. At this point we're ready to plate, so we'll turn our voltage control on and then hit the auto button which will start the countdown timer. We'll increase our voltage so the proper current, I'm going to go for about 14 milliamps. And as you can see we've got plasma generated inside the chamber. And at this point, it will be plating. You can either let it run its course to the parameters that you have determined, or you can turn it off manually by hitting the reset and turn, or turn down the voltage. Once you're finished, you want to make sure you turn all these controls off again. It would start to evacuate the chamber again. Uh, but we're going to just turn it off to allow it to come back to atmosphere. On the back, where the CEA was plugged into, there is a supplemental power adapter here. This is for it's, when it's used, when, not, when the CEA is not being used, you should have this plugged in. It's a quick disconnect, just unscrews a little bit. You can feel the grooves. And then just tighten it up.